Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and on today's how-to we have an edition of Tom's Toolbox where I'm going to show you how to wire a permanent split capacitor gear motor from Bodine Electric. And we'll explain why the run capacitor is required to operate this type of gear motor. But before we do anything, I'm going to put on my safety glasses. These are my reading glasses right here. So I'm going to put on my safety glasses and check that the power cord is unplugged to ensure that no power is coming into the unit. This is our finished unit right here, power cord undone. You always want to disconnect the power source before working on the wiring of an electric motor, okay? Everything looks good. Now, a common method for protecting the motor run capacitor is to place it in a terminal box. Now, this is the terminal box that we have right here. It's rated IP44, which means the capacitor and power connections will be protected from small objects greater than one millimeter, as well as water spray from any direction. Now, over here, we do have the completed gear motor with T-box, capacitor, and power cord already installed, this is good to go. Now over here, we're gonna install the run capacitor and power cord, but we've left the T-box off for demonstration purposes only. Permanent split capacitor, or PSC gear motors, are a great, relatively low-cost choice to drive applications that require frequent starts, such as um, packaging equipment and industrial conveyors. They generally provide greater efficiency and quieter operation than other types of single-phase AC motors. PSCs are considered to be the best single-phase AC motor option in the market, but they require a run capacitor that is wired into the motor winding at all times. Now, without the run capacitor, the motor will not start and remain in a stalled condition, causing the windings to overheat and ultimately burn out, and you don't want that. Okay, now, the first thing you have to do is confirm that you have a PSC gear motor like this one right here. Now, Bodine Electric's stock three-wire reversible AC motors and gear motors feature, we've got ourselves a red, black, and blue leads, that's what we got right here, and then we have a green, yellow, ground lead, all right? Next, we need to identify the correct capacitor value for the gear motor, and that can be found on the motor nameplate. Now, there are several different kinds of capacitors, so you want to make sure that you choose the right one for your application. The capacitor ratings are in microfarads and volts. Now, keep in mind, and this is really important, that using a run capacitor with the wrong microfarad rating can result in either low starting torque or higher motor temperature, and that can damage the gear motor. You don't want that. If you use a capacitor with a lower than required voltage rating, that can result in overheating and damage of the capacitor. Either of those things you don't want, trust me. All right, hey, let's make some connections, all right? Now, you always want to use the motor supplier's wiring diagram, or you can download the correct version from the manufacturer's website. All right, here we go. You ready? Let's start. We're going to take the red motor wire to one of the two capacitor leads. I got that right here, all right? And... Dun, 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 dun. That's pretty simple. I like the way this works. Then you want to connect the other capacitor lead to the black motor wire. So I've got this here. Here's my black motor wire. Now, by connecting either the red or black motor wire with the hot lead from the power cord, the direction of rotation for the gear motor is determined. So I've got that right here, and then I'm going to take the power cord. I'm going to put all three of these together right here. All right. I'm going to make sure I have that in there, all right, and we're good to go. So I've got that set up pretty good so far, all right. Next, you want to connect the other side of the AC line. You can see it come from the power cord right here. This is the neutral to the blue motor lead, all right. So here is our blue motor lead. I'm going to connect these two right here. Good to go. Now to complete the wiring, you want to connect the motor's green yellow ground lead to the ground lead on the AC power cord. Here is our power cord ground. Here's the green yellow from the motor. So I've got these two. And then we're good to go. And there you have it. You have just wired the run capacitor to one of our PSC gear motors. Now, as I mentioned at the start, but as always, you want to make sure you have on that appropriate PPE for whatever the job calls for. Safety is job number one. And to make sure it works, what we do is we go over, we plug it in, because this is our completed one, and there you go. 
you have it running. Now, technically what we would have done is we would have taken all these inside the tee box and we would have mounted that right on top here, put all of our gaskets and everything together, and you would have been secure and good to go. And here's a couple of the tools that you could have used today while you were putting this all together. When you're done, unhook it. You can take your PPE off and you're good to go. I love it. That does it for us today here on Tom's Toolbox. And a special thanks to Bodine Electric Company for their assistance. Now, I want you to also check out more of Tom's Toolbox videos. And that's on the MI How To channel with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Hey, thanks for watching. And um, I, just, I just like to watch this. This is kind of cool.